You're watching Theme Park Worldwide, where I'm here in Vienna, Austria, outside of Wiener Prater, one of the oldest and most historic amusement parks anywhere in the world. It opened back in 1766, and this is somewhere that has always fascinated me and somewhere that I've always wanted to visit. So yes, if you haven't already, check out yesterday's vlog from the famous giant wheel here at Wiener Prater. I did a separate video from that going into the history of the big wheel, so check that out if you haven't already seen it. In this vlog I'm going to be starting off by making my way around the park and getting in as many rides as I can do. Now ever since this opened back in 1766 it's been a free to enter site. In fact it's a park. There's no gates, there's no fences round. You can just walk through the park free of charge and then of course pay for all of your different rides. Now what also makes this really unique is the fact that all the rides are owned by different showmen meaning that they're kind of competing in a way to get you to go on their ride. At the moment, there's 15 roller coasters. That's right, 15 here at Vina Preta. And of course, I'm going to try my best to experience them all across the next two vlogs. And yeah, there's going to be so much for me to get in. You've got to think as well, uh, with them all being owned by different showmen, are they all going to be up and operating? There's different opening times. I know the park opens from 11 a.m. and can open through until midnight. However, um, different rides have got different operating times. You've got to think of maintenance schedules as well. It is a Saturday today, so I'm hoping that with it being a weekend, there's going to be some good uptime and I'm going to get lots of rides in. But this is going to be great. Discovering Prater for the first time. Come and join me here in Vienna. Let's go and get in the park. It's always so exciting for me, experiencing parks for the first time. I love it. I really do. And yeah, this is a big bucket list park for me. Just getting here and seeing it all. Yeah, you've got Madame Tussauds off to the left hand side. There's a roller coaster restaurant just down here on the left as well. And yeah, it's just gone 11 o'clock and I can see lots of the rides testing and just getting started for the day. Beautiful entrance plaza here. I've not really seen much when it comes to the buildings and general theming throughout the park. Like I say, it is an amusement park, so I wasn't really expecting uh, such a, a big sort of grand entrance like this, to be honest. It's beautiful here. I mean, this wouldn't look out of place in a theme park, to be honest. Uh, but I'm just so excited just to get round and see it all. And uh, it's going to cost me an absolute fortune. I'm prepared for that um, because, yeah, you've got to think uh, it's paper ride. There's no wristband option available. Literally, you are paying uh, on all all of those different rides but uh, yeah let's have a little look at a map shall we oh my god well i knew it was a big park but look at the size of the map just here like, it's huge in fact there's over 250 attractions throughout the park whether that's ride food outlets and entertainment and look at the size of this place it is massive of course i've started off just down here at the top i'm just on this little street here and the park expands all the way down this way and all the green space down the bottom as well it really is huge i think i need to start off on a really tall ride to be honest just to get an idea on the scale of this place don't you Look at this awesome ghost train. I can't wait to get on that. I believe there's loads of different ghost trains to experience. Off to the left here, a Zamperla Valare. One of my favorites, not. Literally a few days ago, I was on Hero of Flamingo Land. But yeah, I'll definitely give it a go because I need the credit. And of course, down there at the bottom, the iconic Olympia looping roller coaster that comes over every year to Hyde Park Winter Wonderland. Oh, so many rides. And yeah, things are just starting to open up. Yeah, I can't wait to get on this. Another one that I'm really looking forward to. Honestly, here we go. This is a park that's just going to keep getting better throughout the day, and the atmosphere is really going to build up. I've just seen a drop tower going around here. So I think I'm going to start off on that first so we get a nice view over the park. I definitely can't start on this. I'm already loving how this park is presented. It is very nice. And yeah, here we go. I'm going to start off on the Vena Freefall Tower here. Look at the size of this. Cannot wait to get up there. Looks like we're getting a good hold at the moment as well. And it's five euros. Let's go and get on. Off we go then. The climb begins. And I'll tell you what already, I'm like a kid in a candy shop at this park. There's so many rides. I'm going to spend a fortune here. I really am. But yeah, look at the size of this place. And up we go, climbing up to 80 meters. A Ravina Prata. Oh, there's a Tangada down there. I've walked past two ghost trains. There's another big wheel there. So many rides at this park. That coaster looks really interesting just off to the left there. Hopefully we'll get some spinning action soon and see more of the park. But wow, look at this place. Already, I'm just blown away with it. It's everything I wanted it to be and so much more. 
And what I'm really surprised about is all the pathways. It's in a really good condition. I kind of thought part of the park was going to be on grass, you know, with it being more um, temporary rides, a lot of them. But um, no, it's, it's really not that. It's got all the proper pathways of a normal park. But yeah, 80 meters, what a way to get some great views over Vienna. Right at the top then now, let the spin begin. Oh, some of these rides, honestly, so many bucket lists here. So many coasters and look at the size of this place. Honestly, it is massive. The Starflyer looks good as well. There's Olympia looping going round. Can't wait to get back on there. It's actually my first time seeing it as Olympia looping as well because due to copyright reasons back in London at High Park Winter Wonderland, it's called the Munich looping. So obviously it goes to Oktoberfest every year. But yeah, you can actually see on the top just there, Olympia just on the uh, top of the blue loop just there. <laughs> what a view. And soon we're going to be dropping down 80 meters. Oh, I was waiting for it to drop now. <laughs> Lifted up that tiny bit more. There we go. Woo! Oh, nice and forceful. What a way to stop my visit here to the park. I think we should get on a coaster now, don't you? What an epic start to the day there. A very forceful drop tower with some awesome views. But I'll tell you what I fancy next. How about a 78 foot tall Gerstler bobsled? This thing looks massive. Well, this is an absolute monster. I've never seen a Gerstler bobsled like it. Owned here in 2020, so it's only a couple of years old. It's Jisen Sao. Obviously, I'm gonna try my best with the pronunciation, but I am absolutely terrible. This looks like an absolute beast. Let's go and get on this. Look at the theming as well. Wow. Wow, how cool is this? Smoke comes out the front of the trains and off we go. Five euros to ride. Worth pointing out, both, I love this. Both the rides that I've been to so far, you can pay cash or cards. Oh, I love that. What a great effect. So there must be a smoke machine underneath that part of the track. Then it funnels it up. Here we go. I'm expecting this to be very smooth. Oh, there's Black Mamba. Oh. Woo. Big drop coming up. Oh. The crowd's loving it. <laughs> they are loving it. It's a beast, this is. I've never seen one of these. It's got to be the tallest one out there. Woo. <laughs> Could he get close to Black Mamba? Smoke effects. And that's the thing, like I say with this, all the showmen are competing for your money. They've got to put on a good show. Woo! Oh, I love the layout. Woo! Oh, it's so smooth. Woo. Hey. Oh. oh, that was brilliant. Five euros, absolute bargain for that, and a themed experience as well. This effect was amazing. Well, it was really good fun. A brilliant family coaster. It was smooth. It had some intense sections, some nice bits of airtime too. And it was a great themed attraction. Really enjoyed it. And up next, I've got to give it a go right next door. Here he is. It's Black Mamba, manufactured by Funtime. This thrilling ride opened in 2011. And it's also five euros to ride. Let's go on. Oh, here we go. I'm the only one on. Five euros to ride. Look at the big snake down there. Here we go. It's Black Mamba. I've heard this is one of the most intense rides here. And I love a good intense ride. Oh, look at the view, folks. <laughs> oh my God. Woo. Very different to your standard booster, this one. Let's see how forceful and how many flips we're going to get. Whoa. Yeah, I've been allowed to film on everything so far. Obviously, I'm expecting, I don't know, if they're gonna let me film on everything. It all depends on that individual showman, that individual operator. Whoa! Oh, this is good. Oh, get some great forces. Whoa! I actually got a pop of airtime then as well. 
Literally, when we came right, we go there. Oh! Woo! <laughs> I think everyone's too scared to come on, Black Mamba. But you know me, what a way to start the day. Oh, that was good. That was really good. And I imagine as well, prices will change depending on how busy it is, and so will cycles too. So yeah, that's why I'm trying to get some of these done early on, because it's really not that busy at all. But wow, look at that view. Incredible. <laughs> We're going back the other way now. Is that the end of the cycle or is there more in it? One and a half minutes, I think that's the end. Oh, that was great. Oh no, we're speeding up again, the crowd's watching. That's the thing they want to put on a show. When a ride's standing still, people don't know what it does, but oh! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, oh. Ah. The waving at me down there, they're like, why is that crazy Englishman on this ride? Everybody starts off with the small ones normally, not me. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. Oh, wow. Well, that was a great ride. Black Mamba, that did not disappoint. Oh, I love that. Absolutely loved that. That was absolutely insane. Probably one of my favorite rides I've ever been on. And just a view of it as well. Absolutely amazing. And see why they call it Black Mamba now with the structure of it. That was fantastic, that was. Really forceful, but smooth. And yeah, I love how they're just getting the ride sent as well. It's like I say, it's all about one big show. That's what it's about here. And honestly, I loved that. It was great. Right, time for my first ghost train now. I've already walked past, I think, three. Uh, but here we go. I'm going to try this one first. It's Hotel Psycho. And again, this is a five euro ride. Recognize them portraits in there? Some of those from Jewel back at Alton Towers. Stock footage. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, look at him. Ooh, it spins round. I was expecting that. ghost trains I've ever been on. What is even going on? The whole ride system spins round. That's so disorientating in there. Normally I'm not scared on these, but literally, I'm terrified. Yeah, look at this. Spinning ride system. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, we're going in backwards now. Oh God, this place so far. It's really not disappointed. It's the mystery of it as well for me. Oh, hello. <laughs> Absolutely 
terrifying. Look at my face on there. What has even just happened inside there? That is the world's best ghost train. I've been riding ghost trains for many years. I've never been terrified, literally. I've never known anything like it. It was like a scare maze on a ghost train, but there was no actors in there. It was all animatronics, but it was the fact that there was even animatronics in the track, and then they kind of moved to the side when the train came in. You were spinning around, you didn't know where things were gonna come from. There was 360 sound, there was smoke effects, the lighting was amazing. Honestly, that was absolutely incredible. The best ghost train I've ever been on. The best five euros I think I've ever spent. That is not to be missed. If that's a show us what we're going to get for the other ghost trains then wow I, I don't know what to say i'm speechless after that honestly hotel psycho wow this contraption's always fascinated me ever since i first saw videos of it i look at the arrow at the top really unique five euros to ride waiting for riders yeah we've got a nice little land train coming past as well i think people are a bit scared of some of these big rides that's why they're not really going on them here i go with that old tornado and yeah i'm the only one on here I think again, everyone's a bit too scared to ride, but I'm off. <laughs> so basically I'm hanging on this massive wire, this big cable, whoa! <laughs> and it spins around. See, I'm manufactured again by Funtime, this one. Very unique attraction. Woo! It reminds me a little bit like an s, &S swing at first. And then, yeah, we spin as well. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Spinning back, it's quite good fun, this. Hey! Very smooth, nice and comfortable. Not too intense. Not compared to Black Mamba. But we're still getting going, I think. Whee! <laughs> See, you can tell that it's powered with the spinning, you know, it's controlled. Very unique. Whee! Five pounds a ride. Or should I say five euros? I'm not back home now. I don't think we get anything uh, quite this unique. Some beautiful views over there as well as the wheel. And like I say, if you haven't already, check out that vlog from yesterday. Way <laughs> Right on the wheel. Oh, it's very good. It's not too forceful at all, but it's good fun. I prefer something a bit more intense, but I think that's about as much as we're getting, really. Way. Yeah, it's a bit repetitive. It looks really, like, scary from off-ride, but when you get on it, yeah, there's not that much to it. <laughs> it was all right that was but nothing spectacular uh black mamba definitely the best of the flats that i've been on so far well that ghost train oh my god like i'm loving it here at this park just seeing it all for the first time really is amazing i tell you what though something i'm looking forward to getting back on next the world famous olympia looping and my first time going on this outside of london let's go to see this world famous roller coaster and the world's largest transportable roller coaster in a different location it really is you've got all the facts there as well it's just nice to see it with all the olympic rings as it's supposed to be really so all this signage gets covered up when it's back in london like i say due to copyright reasons in terms of how much it is to ride back in london it's nine pounds at winter wonderland here it's very expensive at 10 euros but you've got to think it works out about the same price uh, of course as paying nine pounds back in the uk when you uh, convert it over however um, there's not many people riding it at all well, I thought it'd be really busy, this attraction. But you've got to think, everything else I've done so far is five euros. So the fact they're keeping this at 10, pretty expensive. Let's go and ride. Oh, here we go. So it's great to get back on this. And I'm on the back car. Worth putting out though, the trays are shorter here. See, when it comes to London, they actually put an extra car on the back, an extra four seats. And yeah, here at Vina Prater, it's actually running without that on. So yeah, I'm not on the very back like I'd be able to in London. But I'm on the back here, as far as I can in this park. What a view though. And I can't wait to see this at night as well. And of course, that's going to be coming up in the day two vlog here from this park. I've seen loads already, but there's still so much more to see. Here we go. Oh. 
be 10 euros a ride, but you know what? It's well worth it. Just make sure you bring lots of money if you're coming here. <laughs> Woo! Bit of helix, helix, helix. A beautiful coaster as all the trains parts up. Only running the one train at the moment and one member of staff as well. You've got to think, you know, it's not busy at all. It's weird seeing this coaster so quiet. Oh, that was beautiful. A brilliant ride and great to ride it somewhere else other than London for a change. It's always great to get back on the absolutely iconic Olympia looping. And I am loving what this park has to offer so far. You got the train ride over there. And yeah, literally, you just walk straight into this place. And up next, it's time for a historic attraction that opened here back in 1950. It's their classic scenic railway. And this looks beautiful. It's based around the Austrian mountain range. And as you can see here, all the little buildings, there's a church up on the top there. It's fantastic this. And it also features an onboard brakeman. And the best part is it's only three euros 50 to ride. Let's go. I'll tell you what, this probably wins the award for cutest roller coaster I've ever seen. Look at this. All the mountain range, the gnomes down there as well. And here comes the train. Gonna take a front row on this one, I think. Wow. Let's go and ride. Here we go then on the classic Hochschabahn. At least I think that's how I pronounce it. Oh, he's loving that ice cream there. <laughs> no seat belts, no restraints, nothing on this one. Here's the lift hill. I think we're going to take this pretty slow. Oh, there's the Seven Dwarfs just over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving this park so far. Really enjoyed it. There we go. Oh, it is a slow lift. You can tell that chain's been replaced uh, recently though, can't you? There we go, just taking us up the mountain. <laughs> well, what's been your favourite ride to watch so far? Comment down below. That ghost train took me by surprise. No rides normally scare me. Well, that ghost train was terrifying. There is so much to go on here, hence why I'm filming two vlogs. Really so much to cover. Yeah, this is beautiful. Look at the castle up down the hill with the waterfall. There's the brakeman back down there. This is beautiful to look at, isn't it? Really nice. And here we go. <laughs> look at the little gnomes. He's cool. I love returning to my favourite parks, but you know what? So far this year, seeing loads of new parks for the first time has been amazing. It really has. Okay, <laughs> quite quick considering I haven't got a seatbelt or a train or nothing. Oh wow, it's beautiful. Here we go. Woo! Hey! <laughs> Oh, it's really nice. Like I say, it is a scenic railway, side friction. So don't expect anything too fast and thrilling. But you know, 1950, over 70 years old now. There's the Starfly there as well. Gorgeous ride to look at. Woo! Only three euros 50 as well. Great. And it's three euros for a child, this one. Oh, that's a view. That is a view. Hi, Woo! Bit of auto brake in there, I saw as well. Oh! Oh my God! <laughs> He's having a wee! That nearly soaked me, that. And another one. <laughs> These historic rides have a special place in my heart. It's again to ride this. I've wanted to do this one for a number of years. Just to get it ticked off. Hello. <laughs> there you go, transfer track. And there we go. Oh, that was wonderful. A real nice three minute scenic adventure. Well, there's nothing quite like a nice scenic railway, especially when it's as beautiful as that. It might not be the most thrilling or fastest of rides, but what you get in there is an experience. And all the tunnels, the gnomes around as well. It was a great ride that was, really enjoyed it. And yeah, just seeing all the theming on there, themed around the Austrian mountains was wonderful.
This really is one of the most unique parks I've ever been to. There's just so much on offer here, there really is. And when it comes to food as well, you got loads of different options throughout the park. There is so many rides to get on, there really is. Uh, look at this here. It's like a big circus tent, but without the tent itself, <laughs> which is quite interesting. Honestly, like, it's where do you go next when you come to somewhere like this for the first time? It really is. I like all these little statues that they've got here as well. Oh, I am in my element, and this place is absolutely huge as well. There's just so many rides and so much movement all around at this park. Incredible, it really is. And up next, I'm going on another roller coaster. This time, it's the Vekoma Boomerang. Now, it's not like any other boomerang I've been on this one because it's got different trains. It originally opened in 1992. However, in 2007, had a brand new train design built by Sheffer instead of Vekoma. And yeah, it's actually got just a lap bar restraint. Let's go and ride. Here we go there, so I'm on the front row on Boomerang. And I'll tell you what, this is the most excited I've ever been to ride a Vekoma Boomerang. Look at this, here we go. It's like an F1 car at the front. Here we go, he's on the microphone. I love it, <laughs> it's great. See, look at the restraint system. Literally a little lap bar restraint like that. Hold them in on this Boomerang. How interesting is that? These girls are loving it behind. We're gonna get some screaming on this one, I think. Wow. God, it feels really weird riding one of these without a massive over-the-shoulder restraint. But what a cracking view over the park. Woo! Woo! Oh! Woo! Oh! Blimey, I was not expecting it to be that smooth. This thing is really smooth. They are screaming so much behind. They're loving it. Yes. Having a good time in Vienna. I think that's a yes. Right, here we go. Backwards now. So smooth. There's six euros to ride this, by the way. Here we go. Woo! Whoa! Woo! Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Whoa! Oh, it's so smooth. down the best Vekoma boomerang I've been on and the trains aren't even by Vekoma. Oh, brilliant. Well, that was absolutely brilliant. I didn't know how that was going to go because obviously some of them Vekoma boomerangs are really rough. And then I looked at the trains and thought, oh, how are they going to ride? Beautifully smooth. That was really enjoyable. Hands down the best one of them that I've ever been on. Anyway, I'm on to my ninth ride there now, spending an absolute fortune, but you know what? I'm just so happy to finally be here after all this time. This coaster is manufactured by Vekoma. It opened in 1994, and it's one that I've wanted to try for quite a few years. It's Mega Blitz. All of the rides that I've seen here so far are beautifully looked after. And that's the thing, it's a showman's park. People want to attract you onto their rides. And yeah, Mega Blitz looks awesome here. Four euros 50 to ride. Let's go and get on. Off we go. Oh, nice and fast out of the station. You'll see some off-ride shots of it in action. Mega Blitz. I like the sign on that apartment block next door. Be kind. It's an important message that, isn't it? Be kind, everyone. Enjoy life to the max, live the dream. Get yourselves out here to Austria if you love a good amusement park. It's huge, this place, it really is. All right, let's ride Mega Blitz. Woo! Very smooth. Woo! Oh. Packs with Helix is this ride. Come on, join in. Helix, Helix, Helix. Woo! Oh. Oh. oh, that was great. Four euros fifty well spent on that. Mega Blitz, that was really enjoyable. 
really good fun coaster that was. More intense than what I was expecting, actually. I'd say a family thrill. Uh, with them helixes, have got some real force to them. Fantastic ride. I feel like that'd be even better indoors in a show building with effects. However, stay tuned, because I've got some indoor rides coming up later on that I'm looking forward to. Some nice indoor coasters. They always go down well with me, those. Talking of indoor attractions, got another massive ghost train to go on here. So yeah, I'm gonna go and check this out. Four euros to ride. Hopefully it's not as terrifying as that one earlier. Honestly, that was absolutely petrifying. Here we go, so you buy your tokens, put them in the little turnstile, and it activates for you to spin. Look at this classic here. Oh, heck at him. Oh, oh my God, that was really close. Already these ghost trains. Yeah, this is like a, a classic one, this. Is it gonna be as scary as the other one? It's got a right clung to it, this. Oh! You see what I mean by the stuff right in front of you? <laughs> oh! I tell you what, our ghost train's back home. We've got a long way to go. Wow. Literally, the car kind of pushes them out of the way on this one. coasting section. There are no light bars or anything. Like, it's like a home haul, this one. Nice animatronic there, not in action unfortunately. You can tell this is an older ride. Ooh. Wonder how that effect works. <laughs> I am really on edge though after that one earlier. Oh! <laughs> Massive jump scares. Oh my god, wow! The whole. Oh, that is ridiculous. The whole thing is just lowered. Oh, that is really. Oh, I hope that showed up for you on the camera. Literally, the whole bridge lowered down. There's not really much in terms of audio in this one, but you know what? It's still very good. That bridge, I've never seen an effect like that. <laughs> I hope you're just as on edge as I am. <laughs> I feel like some of this stuff's just gonna come like whacking towards me. It is crazy. Oh, wow. That's King Kong. Look at that animatronic, wow. That was the end then, but obviously not. Whoa. That was the finale. Oh, wow. Well, that wasn't quite as terrifying as the one that I did earlier on. However, that bridge effect in there was unlike anything that I've seen before. The track actually lowered down, and then it was like an illusion where we moved underneath the bridge. Never seen anything quite like that. And yeah, I loved how you got the big in-your-face jump scares, and it seemed like there was something on the front of the car that actually pushed them out of the way. It was great, that was, and well worth getting on there. Can't wait to see these other ghost trains uh, later on. And of course, there's gonna be a second vlog that I'm filming tonight from here as well, so stay tuned for that one. This contraption looks really unique. I'll definitely have to get on there at some point. Yeah, it's like a spinning chair swing. But anyway, I'm going on another dart ride now. I like the penguin up there as well. It's Iceberg Interactive Snow Ride. This is four euros. And yeah, it's literally a shooting dart ride themed around Ice Age, it seems, just without the IP. We got the woolly mammoth just over there, which I quite like the look of. You got the plane just up there as well that's crashed in the ice. And yeah, we've even got a snow machine and Christmas music playing as well. It's April, but I love it. Yeah, let's go and see what this is like. Four euros to ride. Here we go then. So yeah, this looks really interesting because yeah, there's the screen. Oh, big polar bear. And yeah, literally I'm holding a camera. Like that is what I'm shooting with. <laughs> oh, you're right there. Hello. Hello. Oh my God. We're going up a vertical lift. And I've only just realized it's trackless. Like, look at this. Like, I've seen some stuff today that I've never seen before. Like, honestly, this is amazing. Just coming here and seeing these different ride systems. Here we go. Camera schnappen, Leute. Here is schon das erste Viecher. There we go, shooting the targets with my camera. Whilst I'm holding a camera. <laughs> hey! <laughs> 
Hey, watch out! There we go. <laughs> Very nicely themed in here. Da habe ich aber einen dicken Fisch an der Angel. Something about fish, I think that was. <laughs> All the random bits of music going on. Oh, he just sprayed me. <laughs> oh, he just soaked me, he did. Oh, I feel like something's going to happen there. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's so unique, this is, like, shooting with the camera as well. I don't quite get the idea of it, because obviously it's not in English. You know, I wouldn't expect it to be in English, but... Oh, that's cool. I think it makes it trying to work out what's going on. I think maybe... Oh, oh my God, what are they doing? Family Channel. What? <laughs> Who let the dogs out? Yeah, I think maybe we're trying to... Oh, my, what is going on? What is happening? When you go down, down, you spin my seagulls. <laughs> oh, is this the downward lift now, maybe? Like, oh, you've got to come and give all these things a try, only when he comes to it for the first time. Ooh. Hey! Oh, it spins as well! Trackless, vertical lift hills, and it spins. Like, this is crazy. Is that a massive crab there? I think it is. So we're in Vienna looking at a massive crab on an ice themed dark ride. Like, what more could you want? My school's probably not very good, but I am holding two cameras. <laughs> ah, I see, we're under the sea now. Nice crabtronic there. <laughs> All the jellyfish. Oh, is this a trommel? It looks like a trommel coming up. Spinning tunnel, it's a vortex, here we go. Whoa! Oh, that's a really trippy one as well. That's cool. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be shooting at this point. Nothing, I don't think. Here we go, there's some more targets around here. Oh, scuba diving. This is of a very high quality, the sort of thing you get in a theme park, really, not an amusement park. Spider crab. Hello, Nemo. Got a nice fog effect down here as well. Oh, eaters. Guys, packed with effects, this is. At the bargain price of only four euros as well. Oh, I think we're going for a bit of a party now, are we? Hey, there I am. Three cameras, GoPro, big camera, and one for the ride. That was good. Oh, there we go, there's the little fishies. What a great ride. Very unique dart ride that was. I wasn't expecting it to be trackless. I definitely wasn't expecting the vertical lift hills. And yeah, all the effects and the spinning on there as well. Great fun, well worth it. We're bargaining for you, Rose. Right then, it's time for a couple more roller coasters now. I've done five so far. And just before I jump on the Valare just here, that I've got to say I'm not looking forward to, I'm going to try something that I am very excited for. It's this Rollerball, manufactured by Ride Engineers Switzerland. There's only a few of these out there. This one opened here in 2020, and I've never done one of these before. Kind of reminds me a little bit of an Intamin Zach spin, which I have done, and they're pretty intense. So, yeah, let's see how this rides. I'm looking forward to it. And yeah, it's only four euros to ride. Quite a short ride. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Let's give it a go. Rollerball. Oh, look at that. Gonna get some right hang time on the side there. Oh, it swings you quite a bit. Interesting how it slows you down when you go around the corners. I don't know how this is gonna ride. It looks really interesting. Well, yeah, let's go and get on. I'll take you on with the POV. As long as we're allowed to, of course. Like I say, it could be different rules for some of the rides with them being different operators. Here we go then, climbing up now on Rollerball. And yeah, looking forward to seeing how this rides. I'm the only one on it. It's a bit shaky going up the lift hill. They're having a great time down there, literally having a drink and going around there on the little cycle car. What a great view looking back to the wheel and all across this park. I've seen loads, this is my sixth coaster, but there's still so much more to discover. Of course, still coming up in this vlog and also the second vlog that'll be coming up. Very unique this, isn't it? Looking forward to seeing how this rides because it looks the part and the views are amazing. 
all the way across Prato. Then we're going to come to a bit of a slower section now. And we're off! Whoa! Oh, oh, oh! Hey! Oh! Oh, it's really weird. You're scared of heights, probably not for you this one. Where it tilts you over. Oh! <laughs> yeah, not as intense as I would have liked. I've wanted to try one for a while though. But yeah, I think it would have been nice if they spun all the way round. There's the line train. Whoa! <laughs> it's good fun. But yeah, kind of as I was expecting really. Yeah, I definitely prefer an Intamin Zack spin or of course them uh, SNS free spinning ones. Whee! But yeah, more of a family ride. There you go. Nice little drop tower next to it there as well. Honestly, if you bet on every single ride here, you'd spend hundreds and hundreds of euros. Yeah, it was worth getting on that, but mm, nothing spectacular, that one. Yeah, it might love the part of off ride, but I'm a bit disappointed with that. I was hoping for a little bit more, but still, it's more of a family coaster, that one. If you are scared of heights, it's quite trippy how it tilts you forwards. Anyway, on to one of my least favourite coaster models ever now, a Zamperla Valare. And yeah, I'm going to have to pay for it. That's the worst thing about it. I want to go to Hero Flamingo Land. At least you're getting the rest of the park, including the price. With it, it's going to cost me five euros for the pain. But let's see what it's like. It's actually a slightly different layout, this one, uh, to actually fit here on the site. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing how this rides compared to Hero and the others. I've just said that I'm looking forward to a Zamperla Valare, honestly. We will see how it goes. I'll tell you what I am very excited for though. Coming up next will be a water ride. It's this Rapids with an awesome spinning vertical lift deal. Honestly, like this part just keeps on giving, doesn't it? Let's go and see how this rides. Come and join me for a very uncomfortable and painful POV. Oh, here we go then. Entering into the flying position. Are you ready for a very uncomfortable ride? Or at least I'm expecting it to be uncomfortable. I have done a few of these now, unfortunately. But you know what I say, a cred is a cred. And yeah, slightly different with the layout here, because as you can see, we're moving forwards now. Before going up the lift hill, obviously on Hero, you come straight out into the lift hill. Yeah, I've also done one of these in New York as well at Coney Island. And up we go. Oh, let's see how this is. To be honest, already, it feels like this has got more padding. Oh, oh God, here we go. <laughs> oh god it's really weird these things if you have been on one before you'll know there's not really a lot holding you in like you're just kind of laying in this seat you know and there's nothing like you can move yourself right back very weird look at all these rides there's so much to get on here we are definitely a water ride next here we go great view can't wait for that break dance later on as well love a good break dance and here we go. Oh, oh my God. Ow. Oh, it's awful. It is awful. Oh my God. Oh, it's, oh that was terrible. I've literally just whacked my head. Oh, oh. oh, it's bad. It is bad. Oh, this is terrible. Here's me saying I thought it wasn't going to be as bad. I've literally just whacked my head. Ah! Oh. Oh. oh! That was absolutely awful. Oh, you know what? I'm going to say it. That was even worse than Hero. Like, I have literally just whacked my head, like, really badly on the restraint there. Ouch. I've been on some amazing rides so far today, but that was not one of them. My head after that. I literally bashed it. It was on that first corner. Ow. Like, that was painful. Honestly, unless you want to be in a lot of pain and, of course, pick up a coaster credit, I wouldn't recommend going on that. It was terrible, that was. Worse than Hero. One of the, I can't say I've ever been in that much pain uh, from a coaster. I literally whacked my head really badly on the side. Uncomfortable. Really, really painful, that was. But still, onwards and upwards with a war ride. <laughs> Gonna go on this rapid just here now. So yeah, it's got the vertical spinning lift hill. And uh, yeah, some great themings. Let's go and give this a go and we'll see how it rides. And here we go then on the Wild River Rapids. Hello there. Some goats around this ride as well as a Charlotte would be happy. 
saying that I don't think you'd be best chuffed going on a water ride. Manufactured by ABC Rides of Switzerland. You can see that there on the left. Oh, I'm loving this part though so far. Just a shame that my head was whacked so much on that. Terrible. Here we go. Onto the lift we go. We are ready to climb up. So nice rock work. Looks like a bit of an older ride, this one. That's it, bar coming down, just to make sure we stay, of course, on the lift as we spin and make our way up. We should get a nice view now all across the freighter. Still so much to discover here, there really is. I've done some of my bucket list, but there's still so much to come. Some more ghost trains as well. Now, there's a couple of coasters that I've seen that I don't think are operating. However, that isn't the end of the world. Like I said at the start of the vlog, you know, you can come here and make the most of it. And it is a bit of a risk, you know, you don't know exactly if everything's going to be open with it being different showmen. But to be honest, so far, everything's gone well. I'm having a great time. Rapids. Beautiful architecture of the buildings here in Vienna. I don't know if I'm going to get wet or not on my own on this. Oy, we're getting a spin though. Oh my God. Oy, oh. <laughs> yeah, Rapids. This was five euros to ride. Yeah, just try not to think about the cost. <laughs> cost me a fortune. But you got to think, we are supporting the showmen and they really need the support, especially after a very tough couple of years with the pandemic and restrictions have only just eased here, literally last week. Whoa, again, a good spin. Guys, oh, great. I don't think I've ever spun so much on a Rapids. It's a bit like Storm Surge at Thorpe Park. Oh my God. Ah! <laughs> oh, this is really good. Oh. Is this the drop coming up? I think it might be. Oh no, that's some goats. More spinning. Oh, this is awesome. What a great spin. <laughs> oh, oh, here's the drop coming up. I don't know if I'm going to get wet or what here. We'll see. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh bone dry. There you go. I think with a full boat, that would have been better. Oh yeah, nobody else riding. Everyone's looking at me thinking, what's that crazy English guy doing with his GoPro? Good ride, that. I wasn't expecting quite as much spinning on there, so that took me by surprise. Very nicely themed ride as well, with some great views across the park and also the beautiful city of Vienna. Honestly, this park is certainly delivering. I've wanted to come here for so many years and just to be here, soak up the vibes, soak in the atmosphere, it really is incredible. And that's only gonna get better as the day progresses. And yeah, it's getting a lot busier now as well. Obviously, kind of the middle of the afternoon now, loads more people coming in here to Breta. Anyway, time for roller coaster number eight now, and it's time for an indoor coaster. So the ride is known as Insider, and yeah, I love the name because it's inside this building. It was actually relocated from Tokyo Dome City, where it originally opened in year 2000, and yeah, it opened here in 2013. And it's actually a Mara spinning coaster. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to giving this a go. B&M track on the outside, which is quite funny. Definitely not a B&M in here. But yeah, let's uh, go and have a ride. Okay, so it's five euros to ride. And firstly, you go through this labyrinth, you can see absolutely nothing in here. There's a mirror maze before you ride the coaster. Oh, how awesome is this? You can't really see a lot, but this is really unique. Oh, there's me. <laughs> oh, lasers. Well, the ride as well themed as the queue line. We're in for a treat on this one. Here we go, it's Insider. Looking forward to this. Mara Spinner. Now I'm suspecting that we're gonna see nothing in here. So it'll probably just be some highlights, but let's see. Oh my God, look at this, wow. It is like a big laser show. Oh, this is right on my street, this. The camera doesn't do it justice. Get ready for a rave, let's go. Woo! Wow. Oh, I love it. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. This park, everybody. Speed up <laughs> A spinning coaster in the dark with lasers. Oh, I feel like I'm going really fast when I don't think I am. Woo! Oh yeah, get them fist pumps on the go. This is awesome. I would love something like this back in the UK. Oh! Woo -hoo -hoo. The ride is very smooth and it's not going quick at all. But it doesn't need to with all the lighting. Oh, that is epic. Oh, wow. Look at that. Awesome. Whee! <laughs> Woo! 
little bloody hills. Wow. Woo! <laughs> very smooth, very enjoyable. Not very intense with the spinning, but the lighting on there, epic. Look at that laser with the silhouette of the track. <laughs> it's nuts. That is epic. You successfully completed your mission. Don't forget to pick up your photo for evidence. Awesome. It's like you've got an offload. That's a perfect example of how you can turn an ordinary attraction into a very unique experience. Starting off, of course, with a labyrinth, a laser maze, and then getting onto the ride. I thought it was going to be pitch black, but it was blasting out dance music and all the lasers and smoke in there as well. A brilliant indoor roller coaster. Absolutely awesome, that, and a very modern theme to it as well. Now, as I mentioned a couple of minutes ago, there is a coaster that I've not seen going round, and yeah, this definitely isn't going to be opening today. So this is the Super 8 Barn, which is a Pimfari family coaster that opened here in 1997. And yeah, the reason why I say it's definitely not opening is because there's no train here. Obviously, it would have been nice to have got the plus one coaster credit. However, you know, it's not the end of the world. I've done very similar Pimfari rides before. And uh, yeah, it's the Super 8 Barn. So yeah, not going to be getting that one today. To be honest, though, all the rides that I've wanted to get have been available so far. The indoor coaster was a big bucket list for me. So was the two flat rides that I did earlier on. And uh, yeah, I guess we've asked to go on this, haven't we, next? Whilst it's here, a nice uh, classic Revision spinning mouse. Looks like they're getting quite a spin. So let's go and see uh, what this is like. But yeah, back down here now, next to the giant wheel, an absolute icon of Vienna. And like I say, if you haven't already, check out that vlog from yesterday here on Theme Park Worldwide. Off we go then on the Revision spinning mouse. I've done way too many of these over the years, but you know what? A cred's a cred. Now, of course, a lot of people count the creds differently. The way I see it is, if it's a different roller coaster, even if it's a clone of another one, then it is a credit. However, say this ride had operated before in the UK and had already been on it, uh, then yeah, it wouldn't be a credit. That's how I count them. But yeah, I'm loving it here so far. I really am. Yeah, it's shame I'm not getting the Pinfari, but it's not too disappointing. Can't wait for that train ride, though. That looks nice. And yeah, the log flume's closed there as well. But yeah, again, not too gutted about that. The Rapids was the one out of the two that I was looking forward to the most. Maybe them two rides there are owned by the same showman, possibly. That indoor coaster just there was excellent. And the building for it as well is awesome. It wouldn't look out of place in a part like Epcot or something that with a very futuristic theme. Whee, here we go. Woo! Nice and smooth. So yeah, this is back down near the entrance of the park now. Woo! <laughs> here we go ready for the release it's always in the same place here we go let's get spinning Woo! it was four euros 50 to ride my bank balance is screaming at me but yeah you definitely do want to bring some cash i thought that even you know after covid everywhere would be card but no cash is king still so yeah, you do need to uh, bring some cash if you're coming here, because a lot of places now, quite a few rides have got signs out saying that yeah, you do need to pay cash instead of card. Whee, nice bit of theming. <laughs> Whoa. And that was Dizzy Mouse. Another one, oh, another one to add to the list. Quite a bit of spinning on there, which was good. And yeah, that leaves me with five more coasters to get. And of course, they're all going to be coming up in my second vlog here from Vina Prater. So stay tuned for that. We have been on nine coasters and uh, yeah, it seems like only the one's closed. So we'll see later on. Of course, I'll make my way around and try to find the other coasters because yeah, it's finding stuff at this park when it's your first time coming somewhere. Anyway, I said that I was really looking forward to it earlier on. And here it is. I'm on the train now. And yeah, this is five euros for a complete complete round trip on here. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Let's uh, put in some footage from here on the wonderful railway that opened here in 1928. It's a huge park, it really is. Massive place. And when I say park, I don't mean amusement park, just the park itself, like it's massive. A relaxing space that's always been free to enter. And of course, more attractions kept coming over the years and being added. And yeah, it's become the place it has today, which is amazing. It really is. Is that a little driving school there? It looks like it. But yeah, it seems like they run a couple of different trains. I'm on a black locomotive, whereas earlier on, when I did the little scenic railway coaster, you saw a different loco. But yeah, I'll show you this one when uh, we get a little bit 
closer to the end of the ride. In fact, you might see it just here on the corner in the distance, but I'll show you when we get off. So you can see the loco itself. Looking forward to giving that a go. One of the five coasters that I've still got to ride. I say five, there's one that I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go on or not. <laughs> yeah, because it, I think it is for kids, but we'll see. You never know, I might get on. I'll certainly try. Just cars driving through the park. <laughs> I love it. Let's look at the classic 1950 scenic railway again. So many food options here. I just grabbed some fries for now, but yeah, they were just three euros. There's a Burger King in the park as well. Oh, and here's another station. Obviously, we're staying on doing the full round trip. Here we go, here comes the other loco. Wow, oh, they really build up some speed with them being real steam trains. And yeah, here's my oversized park map again. It's massive, I don't really know where the journey takes us because yeah, we're just passing here now. And yeah, it seems like it comes down here and off the map. So I don't know if it does a loop round down at the bottom here. And of course we come back down the other side and loop round to that station, but we will find out. The map is literally huge. I need Charlotte here to hold it with me. So many lovely restaurants around. And yeah, we're out of the main part of the amusement park now into the actual park itself. At least it looks that way anyway. Lots of parking around here, so many car parks. And like I say, there isn't really, you know, one big entrance. You can just walk into this place from all sorts of angles. However, the main entrance you would class is where I started the vlog earlier on, down by Madame Tussauds and of course the iconic giant wheel. sports facilities around here as well. It's literally now just a country park. Play area over there. <laughs> I told you this was a really unique theme park. The Golden Gorilla over there. Yeah, it's a massive green space right in the center of Vienna. And I really like as well how they've kept a lot of this green space. It's not all got rides on. It's only a small portion really that's got rides on and then yeah, you've got the whole park here. Imagine Hyde Park in London, if it had a little area as an amusement park all year round. And then of course, the rest of the park to enjoy as a peaceful, tranquil area. Or at least when the train's not coming through anyway. <laughs> through another station and going through the turnaround section now and yeah there's a massive stadium over there as well I absolutely loved my ride there on the Lilliput barn here at Vina Prater. And there's a look at the loco. Brilliant, really builds up the speed as you go around as well, which is amazing. You can't beat good old genuine steam trains. Oh, I love it. Brilliant. And what a way to wrap up the first part of my trip here to Vina Prater. 
I still can't believe that after all these years, I'm finally here at this park and just discovering it and seeing what it's all about. And the atmosphere is only going to get better as the day progresses and into the evening. I tell you what though, it's definitely worth getting here early to get loads of rides in because I think prices are gonna go up and cycles will get shorter, of course, on the flat rides as well. So yeah, I definitely recommend getting here early like I did today so you can maximize time and get loads of rides done. Because as you're gonna see, there really is so much more to discover and that's gonna be coming up in the day two vlog. <laughs> Well, I'm absolutely loving what I'm seeing so far here at Vina Prater in Vienna, Austria. My first ever visit, always wanted to come here and it's finally great to be here inside the park, seeing what it's like and the atmosphere really is going to get even better tonight. So I'm looking forward to it. So make sure you join me in the day two vlog here from this park where we'll keep on riding. I've still got more coasters to ride, more dark rides, more ghost trains, flat rides and so much more and it's all going to be coming up and I feel like this park it's going to just get even better and even busier as we get into the night and of course I'm going to be capturing all of that in tomorrow's vlog the day two vlog coming here on theme park worldwide in terms of some of my favorite experiences of course getting back on Olympia looping was great however the ghost trains the rapids the variety of flat rides the indoor coaster I've loved everything I can't pick out one thing from this experience so far everything that I've done at this park has been absolutely awesome and just great to get on on. even some of the rides that I thought you know what weren't quite as good as I was expecting like rollerball for example and um, you know what it was still good to get on them get them ticked off and like I said earlier on you know it's always a risk coming somewhere for the first time that you're gonna miss out on things and all of the big bucket lists that I've wanted to do I've managed to get done uh, which is awesome but there's still so much more to discover so uh, that's enough from me from now and I'm gonna go back to the hotel have a bit of a chill have some food and I'll be back uh, filming the day two vlog for you all that'll be coming up tomorrow here on the channel i'm sean sandbrook thanks for watching theme park worldwide and that leaves me with one final thing to say get out there and keep on riding i'll see you all tomorrow